things are popping. Pop. I feel the Delphi way. We're gonna drop it. Drop. On all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. That's lovely. Woo <laughs> dynamite, dynamite. We've been waiting for you. I tell you, we've been waiting. <laughs> I think, I think he has the general idea. Control the animals out there. Now, wait a minute, you're from Philadelphia. How, what's the furthest west you've ever been? Oh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Most people know by now, because the story's been told on radio a hundred times, what inspired that song? For anybody who doesn't know, very quickly, the background. Well, uh, Double Dutch is a tribute to all the girls in the world, especially the girls on my block. You mean you stole this from those little children? I've been watching them for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> now, what does they do? They, is that the one with the double rope? Right. They use their mother's clotheslines, Dick, in order to play a jump rope game. But it's an art. And you heard this stuff coming through the window? Oh, and it's a tribute to them oh. because um, they're really good at it. Are you a native Philadelphian? Yes, sir. You spent some time at Philadelphia International Records before you moved to your label now, which is, we should mention them, give them equal time. Oh, WMOT. Thanks to them, I'm here now. But you lost your job with Gamble and Huff. Now, that's one of the most successful record companies in the world. What ran through your mind? Uh, at the time, it was the end of my life. I put everything in it, and I really... I what, what were you doing? I was a writer. They started me off as a writer, and they, they gave me a lot of experience and opportunity to learn what to do and how to put a record together. And then eventually, they made me a producer. So Why I, did they fire you? Weren't you good? Well, actually, I don't even believe that I was... I was waiting for a reaction. I, I don't believe I was fired. I think it was like it was a layoff temporarily, and they said, you could come back, but uh, it's a business, and we had to, they had to cut back on staff and what have you, and I appreciated everything they had done for me, but my life just fell apart. But you got the pink slip one day. Oh, I got the pink slip. How do you pick up and go on? Did you think it would be this good? I just believe in Double Dutch. I believe in children. Are you, are you a kid fan? Oh, I love them. Why didn't you go into the teaching thing? You studied for it. Music was in my bones, and every time I try to say one and one is two, something said, no, play the piano. <laughs> you, have, you have picked the right spot. Now, this, this whole album, now that was a 12-inch single record that led to the album. What other things are in the album? Well, we're actually breaking down what Pig Latin is all about, and Children of Tomorrow is, I'm talking about children's children, mm -hmm. and children having children that are growing up in a world like today. Uh, to leave something positive with them, you know, means more to me than all the success in the world. Give me a little 10-second uh, background on, on the next thing. The, uh, the, this is another part of the world. Uh-oh. No, I'm going to take everybody back to the Western days. All right. With silver gold and plenty hay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Frankie Smith.